Well, it's not just nursing homes and assisted living facilities left with more questions than answers because of COVID-19. If you're a parent with a child in school, you have questions as well. That's why CBS 19 is starting a special initiative to get your questions answered by the people making these plants. We took your concerns to school districts across East Texas, and what we found is that these leaders in charge of the future generations are doing their best to return to normalcy in a world that doesn't seem to be normal at all right now. Tonight, Dana Huey joins me to talk about this unique focus on lessons learned and how far we have to go. Well, Aaron, a lot of us at the station, we're parents with kids in school, and we felt the struggle just like other East Texans did. You know, we're trying to work from home, but then also trying to help our kids navigate this new e-learning thing. I mean, it wasn't easy. So we started having that conversation at CBS 19 in ways that we could help. And, you know, also the thing I was thinking about is kids were also pulled from their schools that they love, their friends that they love. I think they love school more than they even realize. So we decided to ask East Texans. Texas superintendents to do, join a Zoom kind of town hall that we had at the station, and we had a pretty great response. What were their biggest hurdles when that pandemic abruptly ended the school year? I have to say that most everyone sort of agreed on this, and I was a bit surprised, but it was connectivity. And we're not just talking about kids getting the laptops that they need, because that's kind of what I was thinking. Not everybody has a laptop or has one of those tablets to do the work on, but it was the internet connectivity that was huge for all the school districts, no matter where you live, whether it was with a smaller cities or it was a big city like Tyler or Longview. So many people were working and learning from home as well, and that really slowed things down. I mean, I've felt it here at my house. Um, so they talked a lot about inadequate bandwidth um, that they're dealing with, what they need to get those children to be reached better. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Well, what did the students miss out on aside from learning in the classroom? You know, I really did think that it would be education. That would be what they would say. But it was the culture that they create, you know, the life lessons they teach, the habits they teach from study habits just to, you know, good interpersonal habits. They also learn a lot from communicating with their friends as well. So that was also pulled away from students. They learn from athletics, life lessons there. And they want to get those kids back to inspire them to be all it is that they want to do. Now, not that parents, we do that as well, but there's just something about teachers that are so inspiring because you realize whenever your kids aren't at school just how important those teacher relationships are and that job that they do is just well it's incredible. 